Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. The video I'm about to show you is a really important, really special video um, because it's a gift. It's a gift for a, a good friend of mine. Um, it's a really emotional pour. So the friend of mine very sadly lost a baby when he was 11 months old to meningitis B and his name was Alex. She, um, a couple of, um, or a few months ago, she had a tattoo on her arm um, and I'll include a picture of the tattoo here. So the most amazing, most wonderful tattoo to really depict um, her, her husband, her two boys, and unfortunately the little boy, Alex, who she lost. Um, and I wanted to use that image. It's such a powerful image. I wanted to use that image in a piece of artwork and give it to her as a gift. Um, so I, I've um denied about what I'm going to do or what I, what I was going to do. And in the end, I decided to do a swipe as a, a sunrise swipe or sunset swipe um, and then use the idea of the tree. So the little birds are sitting on the branch. So I want to I wanted to create a big tree and then have that branch as as right, right in the center of the painting. Um, so, I, yeah, I'm going to do a, I'm going to show you the swipe. All my paints are mixed with PVA glue and water and I've got a little bit of um, coconut milk hair serum in all of the colours. So I'm going to swipe, create and create lots of cells. Um, and then afterwards I embellished it with the tree, with the ground, with the birds. Um, so, yeah, just really special painting, really important painting um, for me to do for my friend. Um, so let me show you. This is what happened. The canvas I'm using is 42 by 60 centimetres. I've drawn some circles. So I drew around a plastic lid. In fact, it's just here. I drew around a lid to get a semicircle. And then I've just done some measurements every four centimetres. It doesn't matter what measurement you use, but all the way around. So I could then just freehand sketch some, some circles because I want this to, I want to start with one colour and I want it to graduate out to blue. Um, now, Alex had amazing blue eyes, so I really want there to be a lot of blue at the top of this, this sunset, sunrise. Um, so that, that's my canvas. Um, my colours, so I've got some blues, some purples, some pinks, some orange, Venetian road, white, yellow and gold. So my plan is to start with white and yellow here at the bottom and then I'm going to build it out. So I'm going to have orange, pink, purple and then blue. I'm going to do a stained glass swipe. So I'm going to be drizzling the paint on in little tiny beads of paint. So I'm just going to use my stir stick just to drizzle the paint on. Um, the reason I like doing that is because then you get lots of little tiny multicoloured cells. If you pour it on, you're going to get a big clump of different colours. And then I, when I swipe it, I just it it I think it won't look as good. I like lots of little tiny speckled cells everywhere. So the sun itself, so yellow and white predominantly. Um, and then with a little bit of gold. And then, what's next? And then the little oh, bit of orange. So let's drizzle it on. Um, and I am going to be overlapping the colours. So it's not, they're not just one colour for, for each, each line. I will be overlapping them. The lines are really just a guide so I can get a, the right semicircle. And one thing I'm just thinking about is how to decide on how, how, where to actually put the colours. So I think if I said I wanted blue to be here, let's just, let's just say my blue is going to be there and outwards. So therefore I need purple and pink. So let's have... Let's have the purples from about there outwards and then obviously the pinks from about there because I really, really want enough of these of blue colours.
Right, really happy with that blend from the light to the dark now. So I'm now just going to spend lots of time filling in all these gaps. So just adding lots more paint. Once I've got, I think, enough paint on there, I will just end up dabbing it with my finger just to make sure that every little bit of canvas is covered because there'll be lots of little gaps. So just by dabbing it, I'm just going to be evening out the layers of paint, starting to blend it and just making sure there's a really nice smooth painted surface that I can then swipe on. All my canvas is covered. I'm really happy with the blend of it, of the of the piece. So now I'm going to swipe, and this is actually going to probably be the most difficult bit because I'm going to swipe with a little piece of plastic. What I need to do is try and get that curve. So I thought about uh, putting this on a cake turntable and turning the painting instead of my hand, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to swipe. Turn, move my hand. I might. So one option is to just do straight. That's not very forgiving. I could just do little wiggly lines in that direction. It's much more forgiving in that it doesn't have to be quite as perfect and precise. But would that look a bit weird? I don't think it would because I'm going to be um, torching this. I'm going to be, this is going to go nut crazy with cells. So I don't actually think that would look strange. I think I'm just going to start, probably not in the centre. I'm, I'm just going to start somewhere and see what happens. Let's just start here. So to swipe, I'm simply just going to put my plastic on the edge and then just Pull it round. So actually, if I stood this side, that's probably. I'm on a corner, so it's quite good. I can I can move round. Let's start here. Right, that wasn't quite in the centre because you can see I've got more yellow here than I have here. Hoping that doesn't particularly matter. Okay, I'm going to just use that as my template, I think. Now, let's go again. get this centre bit I've just cut the card or the plastic so I can get I think it will be easier with a smaller piece it's really difficult turning it keeping going with my wiggly lines <laughs>
Right, I'm done. Let's start torching. So this is going to change dramatically now when I torch. The consistency of the paint was relatively thin. So I'm, I'm expecting quite a lot of cells. Um, they're not going to be huge, but I don't think they're going to be tiny either. And I can already see there's just a few cells popping, popping up. Um, and I'm going to go for lots of cells. I want cells everywhere. So it's now totally finished. I am so, so happy with it. Um, I love the fact that the, your eye is totally drawn to the little bird that's flying away. Um, so of all the details in this painting, I think that that little bird, the flying away, um, is where your eye is drawn. And that is absolutely perfect because that is the whole insignificance of this painting. Um, let me show you up close. So let me show you the paw to start with. Um, love it. The tiny, tiny details, beautiful, tiny little cells. And they're all blended. So all the colours seem to be mixing and blending together. Um, the bit I was least happy with was actually right at the bottom here because it looked, instead of it being round, it looked a bit oval. So luckily, I've been able to hide that with the black, uh, with the ground. Um, let me show you the little birds. So I I copied the tattoo. I just drew them freehand and then I, with a pencil, and then I went over with a Posca pen and then with a bit of black paint. So that little section there, just that bit, that's her tattoo. And then obviously I've gone a bit further and I've added the tree, loads and loads of leaves. Love the blue. Um, as I think I said, Alex had amazing blue eyes. So I wanted blue to be um, a part of this painting. Um, yeah, just so happy with it. The, and I like, I put the tree wrapping around the edge of the canvas so there's a bit of detail at the edge. Um, really, really happy. Um, I just really, really hope my friend likes it. Great, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Um, do you think this works? Um, as I said, I had, I had lots of ideas and I, it took me ages to really settle on what painting to do for this, for this embellishment. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.